Hello boys and girls and welcome to the channel. It's been a while since the last video. I've been busy with my band Crimson Day in the studio and wife and I, we moved to a new house. And all that kind of real life shit, but today I'm, do I'm doing a video with this. Surprise! I have done a bunch of videos with AX Time, but this time I'm integrating this to my pedal board. At least my version how to integrate it to a pedal board. I have here, yeah, first of all, I have this small Cater pedal tote. I don't know, it's kind of compact size. I have this for a while. It's about 45 to 50 measurements. Yeah, real interesting. <laughs> but hey, uh, I got, got I got a couple of pedals too here. Uh, first in the chain is TC Electronic. Follow tune. Tuner. Then I will put this big bad boy. It's a... Uh, it's a Hitza. It's a Tanlofwaf. 95Q, this is uh, automatic, you don't have to push it on and off, it, when you put your foot on it, it has a sensor and it goes on, very practical, in my opinion at least, and then we will put a little bit overdrive, a very little overdrive, more hustle drive. The stump got pretty good overdrive, but sometimes you need that extra kick when you play solo or so you need some crisp rhythm tones. I don't use that much stumps overdrives. I tend to Tackle the amp, seem that kind of way that I don't need overdrive. But like I said, sometimes you just need that extra extra kick. And then we have a TC Electronic again, Corona Chorus. This is a pretty sweet sounding chorus. It depends on the amp. I used on the FX loop or in the front, mostly in the front. It sounds good either way. And then we have this Boss FSU5U because I use presets and snapshots. And I do a, when I do a preset, I put something like delay on that kind of shit and I control them with this and of course you, you need a DRS plug to get this work with the stamp and then I got patch cables this kind of these are pretty awesome too I think this for more too of course I got this to get the sound from the stump in the front of the house or oh, in the PA system. And what else? Yeah. Mm. I got visual sound one spot. This is 1700 amperes max. It will do with these pedals and of course the stamps on 
power supply. Yeah, it's. Other guys use one power supply, but I like to use two just in case. So, let's build up this board and let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, this time I have this muscle plexi style sound going on, at least on my mind. Well, let's try out what it sounds like. First we got this basic rhythm sound. <laughs> on it, let's put chorus and over FSU controlling the delay. Let's put a delay on it. Let's put some delay on it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
was my question how to integrate the hex dump to the pedal board. I hope you liked the video, please subscribe and leave a comment below how you integrate your stump to the pedal board. Always curious to find out new ways. So that's about it, until the next time, see ya!